So I figured out what, what another thing that DNA could, could mean. Because um, I was thinking DNA, DNA, DNA. What is DNA? And then it occurred to me that what it does, what it is in, in the sense of It's a reference, and that reference references us in relation to our deepest lineages in an interconnected line of unfolding eight-sided plates or dimensions that fold down, plop, that's one dimension, plop, it's another dimension. And out of the plop, 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 place three-dimensional deoxyribonucleic acid as it is popularly referred to right so I had this vision of that being these eight-sided plates that fold off of each other blah, 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 in a spiral helix like a double spiral helix that go down and then I was trying to consider so what is DNA really what does it do well, based on that visual that I got, it's a dimensional referential that transcends time or space. It's a referential to all dimensions. So, for example, DNA would then be like dimensional nexus attributes, which would be basically dimensional coordinates that are not bound to any one dimension, like two dimension, two dimensional plane or three dimensional field. Like instead it relates to all of them. So it would be a core matrix alignment. So my DNA, my core matrix alignment relates to say my ancestry in a specific way. And um, it tells me where my a reference, not just to my great grandpa, but to my great 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 grandma, and my second cousin, and the stranger. It gives me references to all those things. My DNA does. Um, so that's what kind of I'm. I'm really feeling this. Like there's something really deep here. Dimensional nexus alignment. Dimensional nexus um, coordinates. No, that's DMC. <laughs> but uh, that the DNA is a reference. It's a dimensional reference. So that you can go to hair, you can go to emotional, you can go to temperament, you can go to you know how someone ages, whether their organs fail. Like it references any dimension you want: spiritual, psychophysiological. It, it, it's the template upon which we have grown, each of us, individually. Dimensional nexus attributes. Or alignment. Hmm. What do you think?